so today I'm going to do a video that makes me a little bit sad. It's a video on how to uninstall Deep Freeze Mac. Sure, there's valid reasons for doing it. You know, product upgrade, what have you. But not one I really want to do, but it's on the list. So here we go. Step one, you got to get the computer thawed. So that means you've got to have the username and password to turn Deep Freeze off. If you don't have this, it becomes significantly more difficult to get this to happen. If you're a licensed user who's having problems with this, give the support team a call or drop us an email. We'll see if we can help you out. If you're trying to bypass the software to get past the security behind it, you probably want to go looking for someplace else because I'm not going to tell you anything here that's going to be of use in that regard. So, like I said, first thing, get the computer thawed. Once you're thawed, we can log back in to the deep freeze controls. And what you're going to see is on the end here, there is an uninstall option. All we do is we select the option as to whether or not we're retaining the thaw spaces or not, and click that uninstall button at the top of the screen. Now, it's important to keep in mind, if you are going to go through and uninstall the software, and you select the option to delete the thaw spaces, all the data that's in those thaw spaces is gone. It goes goodbye. Now, we can't recover it. We can't pull it back for, me, for you. Uh, if you've got users mapped into a thaw space, you need to be very careful to make sure you do not select the option to remove the thaw space from the system. Because if you do, you're gonna have some very angry users who are legitimately upset that you've lost their data. If you're mapping to a physical volume, you'll be okay. Um, but again, I would still recommend that you undo the mapping unless you're going to be doing an in-place install right away to get the things back up and going. Anyway, once you're ready to do the uninstall, you just click the uninstall button here. And what it's going to do is it's going to pop up and ask for me to authenticate again as my general admin credentials. And then we're gone. Now... If you're uninstalling because you're having problems or having some issues, please give us a shout and let us know. We definitely want to know why you're pulling the software off. Um, maybe it's something we're aware of and we've got a fix for. And if you give us a quick five minutes and let us know what's going on, maybe we can help you out. You can reach the support team via email to support at pharonix.com. Or if you want to go to our support portal, you can hit support.pharonix.com. And that's got our FAQs and such, and you can submit support tickets in there. Anyway, any questions, again, reach out to the support team. We're more than happy to help you out. Uh, hope you found the video uh, interesting. And uh, hope you have yourselves a great rest of your day.